To set up Nagios XI using Hyper-V, the first thing we need to do is navigate to our website. So we're here at Nagios.com. We will click Products, click Nagios XI, fill out all the appropriate information you are asked of. And then right here underneath the Microsoft tab, we will see a Hyper-V option here. We can click Download Now. I already have the Hyper-V image downloaded. It'll download as a compressed zip file. And as you can see, it is currently extracting. And once we have the zip file extracted, we will open this folder, open the Nagios XI folder within it, and notice that there is a .bhd in there. Note our path, and we will open up Hyper-V. In Hyper-V, we will go to the right side over here and click New and click Virtual Machine. You can also do it at the top under Action. We will click Next, and we will give our Virtual Machine a name. I will name it Nagios XI. If you want to store it somewhere else, you will click this button here and store it in a different location. I will leave it default. Click Next. We'll do Generation 1. Click Next again. The recommended amount of memory for a XI VM is four gigs, and that is what we have right here at 4,096 megabytes. So we will click next once again. For networking, we will use the default switch and click next. And to create our virtual machine, we will use an existing virtual hard disk, and we will navigate to where that VHD is stored, which is here. Here's our VHD. Click open, click next. Have a view of our settings. If we are satisfied, we will click Finish. It's going to create and configure the virtual machine. As you can see, Nagios XI is now created in Hyper-V. We can go to the right-hand side here and click Start on our virtual machine. Once we click Start, it'll power on. We will open up Connect. It's going to connect us to Nagios XI. And at the top, we are given the IP address of our virtual machine. With our desired web browser, we will open up and type in our IP address here. And here we are with Nagios XI. We will click Access Nagios XI, choose all our appropriate settings. I will use the free version, keep everything else here as default. Click Next. We will set our username and password. I will just do a, well, very, very basic password. And our full name is Nagios Administrator. You can change this to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to disable email notifications for now. Click Finish Install. The installation is complete. agreed to our terms of service, and here we are, Nagios XI. That concludes how to install Nagios XI using Hyper-V.